Hey guys, today on Rich With Cars, I wanna give you guys a quick update on a recent press release that Lexus just unveiled for Lexus Japan. So keep in mind that this is not a release for the North American market, but they just came out with some information on some minor updates on the 2023 Lexus RC and Lexus RCF models. And being a lower volume vehicle, they've made some improvements on this and I probably see this as being one of their last years for the RC because I think there are plans for completely redesigning the new coupe or the RC model or whatever model they're going to call it. So the RC has been around since 2014 and uh, between let's just say for the regular RC model they've sold a total of about 74,000 units across 62 different countries and regions and the RCF has sold a total of 11,000 units across 57 countries and regions. So that gives you a pretty good idea of what sort of low volume this particular model is. Keep in mind that these numbers of units sold has been since 2014. For the 2023 model, they've made some minor changes and I'm gonna go over with them in terms of showing you guys what it's all about. So let's get started with the changes on the regular RC. And of course, some of these changes that are on the RC also automatically are shifted over to the RCF. So first change in regards to the, the Lexus driving signature, they've actually used hub bolts with washers to fasten the wheels. And by doing that, they've actually improved the handling performance by strengthening the fastening force and reducing unsprung mass. Additionally, what they've done is also tightened not only the hub bolts, but the steering stability was improved by optimizing the absorber characteristics of the AVS systems, which AVS stands for the adaptive variable suspension and the electronic power steering as well. So by modifying those AVS and EPS systems during the driving testing at the Toyota Technical Center, they've managed to improve the suspension comfort and having better high level stability. Now specific to the RCF model, they've reviewed the balance of both the front and the rear body rigidities by improving the D range on the paddle shift control and they've managed to improve the ride quality by making it more comfortable as well. Now in terms of design, they haven't changed much on the vehicle themselves. The only thing that they've managed to change are some wheel designs. For the regular RC, for the F Sport models, they've come out with a new NK dark gray metallic paint wheel, which gives it a more of a sinister look, I guess you could say. For the RCF model, they've come out with two new wheel designs. Both are actually made by BBS. One is a super gloss black metallic paint, tense mesh spoke finish. I really like that design. It's very, very sporty. And then the other one is similar to what uh, some of the previous RCF models had, which is also made by BBS. And they have sort of like a matte black paint, a uh, tense spiral spoke type of design. Nice, sort of similar to previous RCFs and even similar to uh, existing GSF model wheel design, but I definitely prefer that uh, 10 mesh spoke design that is on the super gloss black metallic uh, wheel design. Really, really nice stuff. Now in regards to safety, Lexus improves a few of the systems for both the RC and RCF models. So using the Lexus Safety System Plus, they've managed to improve the lane tracing assist, which is basically a system that allows the vehicle to stay centered in the middle of the lane. So they've managed to tweak a few things to make it less interrupting and a smoother self-driving experience. And then the other system that they've managed to improve as well is the radar cruise control, which now is like basically all the way for all different types of speeds, full stopping, and improves the system around curves as well. And then finally, of course, they, they've managed to improve the road sign assist system, which basically reads major road signs with the camera and displays them on the multi-informational display. And finally, the biggest improvement of all, in my opinion, is that uh, middle 
infotainment system screen which is now a touch screen before they actually improved the screen but i don't think it was a touch screen now on the 2023 models that screen can be used both through the lexus touchpad and the touch screen itself it still uses the previous generation multimedia system they haven't actually improved the multimedia system to the newer one that is found in the new lx600 the new nx so that kind of gives you an idea that this is sort of like on its last sort of limb for the rc model lineup i don't think they're going to be putting any of the newer technology until they basically completely redesign it of course with the multimedia system now it's both touch and on the on the touchpad itself which definitely helps a lot in making it more usable and then finally on the rcf which i found to be a little bit confusing or a little I guess odd when I was reading through the press release. Apparently the um, electronic parking brake system, it didn't have the auto hold feature on the RCF. I thought it did, but apparently based on this press release, it seems like they just added this to the RCF, the auto hold feature. So guys, please correct me if I'm wrong on this. If any of you have a 2021 or 2022 RCF, and if you do have the auto hold features, yeah, apparently they added that as well for the 2023 model lineup. Well guys, that basically sums it up. Those are all the minor improvements for the 2023 version of the RC and RCF models. Of course, like I said before, this will probably be one of the last year model lineups for the RC before they give it a full redesign and maybe even change the name of it. So that kind of gives you an idea that because they didn't make massive improvements, I don't think they're going to be continuing too much longer with this model, kind of like with the LC as well. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, once again, thank you very much for all the support. Merry Christmas to all of you. Uh, it just passed, but I hope you guys had a good holiday. And uh, don't forget to please like. So I'll see you guys on the next one and take care.